Iron's European Adventure. It's not news to anyone that watches this channel that I like history. But what I like even more is getting the chance to see it up close and in person. Over the last few years, I've had the pleasure of seeing historical sites around the world, 99% of which were in Europe. The most recent site I got to visit was the Polish Aviation Museum in Krakow, which I made a video about, the search for the worst plane in the world. Other sites are the Todd Battery, followed by the Atlantic War Museum. The footage that I got was used in a video about the railway gun at the Todd Battery, La Coupole, the V2 rocket base. I've seen the outside of one of the V3 batteries, but I would like to revisit for a tour. In Belgium, I visited the Royal Museum of the Armed Forces and Military History, a very impressive collection in an amazing building. Personal highlights for me were the L-30 Zeppelin gondolas. Yep, that's the airship model in BF-1. In America, in New York, I visited the Intrepid and the submarine docked next to it. In Washington, I visited the Hazy Center, which I may have to go back to now, now that they put the Horton 229V3 on display. In England, Duxford, RAF Hendon, RAF Cosford, Bovington Tank Museum, City of Norwich Aviation Museum, Midlands Air Museum, the Haviland Museum, the RAME Museum, and the Museum of Army Flying. The reason I've been listing off these places is that I want you, the audience, to suggest what I should visit next. Ideally, you should know the site or volunteer there. I've got to admit that I'm a sucker for those behind the scenes tours, which I had the pleasure of at the City of Norwich Aviation Museum. I have an idea of some places that I want to see. It's not set in stone. I want to see the Type 21 U-boat in Germany and also U-boat U995. Visit the Avro Shackleton at Coventry Airport. Visit an underground German's arms factory. Maybe this place that I can't pronounce or Siegraut. Visit parts of the Maginot Line. I haven't sorted out where I should visit for that, but somewhere along there. Oh, can't leave out the Eagle's Nest. A museum in France that I cannot pronounce. Museum of Aviation in Belgrade. That might be a bit trickier to get to, but we'll see. Bonus would be the opportunity to fly in a vintage plane, such as Sally B, a B-17 based in the UK. There are also places that are smaller, but still interesting to visit, such as Lachenden Air Warfare Museum. Its only real attraction for me is the newly restored Manned V1. In Belgium, there's Tiger 213 at Museum December 44. If you volunteer at, or just know somewhere that's a must-see place, then please send me an email to my business email. You can find it right here on the About section of my YouTube channel. Use the subject Iron's European Adventure. Please, it will make sorting for your emails much more easier. I will do my best to process all of your suggestions or offers, and I'll figure out the details for my trips. My adventure will be covered in a similar way to the Krakow trip. So, with my gimbal and my GoPro, I'm jumping into my legendary Volkswagen up, or the cheapest budget airline depending on the place. I look forward to seeing your suggestions. Like, comment and subscribe or I'll break your f***ing legs.